the McDonnell Douglas F-15. The concept of the F-15 first came to light when McDonnell aircraft entered the second phase of the US Air Force's FX competition in 1967. McDonnell faced competition from the Fairchild Hiller and North American Rockwell, however McDonnell were able to apply the lessons learned from the Vietnam War, which saw their F-4 Phantoms prove to be very successful. Be sure to have a watch of the previous video to learn more about that. On the 23rd of December 1969, McDonnell Douglas officially won the Advanced Tactical Fighter contract, and so work began on the creation of one of history's most successful fighter planes. The F-15 took the military aviation world by storm, quickly smashing the time to climb record by achieving over 98,000 feet in just 3 minutes and 27 seconds, thanks to its two Pratt & Whitney F-100 afterburning turbofan engines, which topped the fighter out at Mach 2.5. Weapons-wise, the F-15 features a 20mm cannon whilst also having a total of 9 hardpoints, which would carry a total of 16,000 or 7,300 kilos of ordnance. Typically an air-to-air -air equipped F-15 would feature a combination of AIM-7 Sparrows, AIM-9 Sidewinders and AIM-120 AMRAMs. The F-15 established itself as a proven killer during the Gulf War. It recorded 36 out of the 39 recorded American Air Force's kills on Iraqi forces, which themselves were armed with some impressive fighter planes. The F-15s notably killed five MiG-29s, which too were fourth generation fighters, whilst also downing two MiG-25s, which, as we discussed in the previous video, were the reason the F-15 program was accelerated. To date, the F-15 has recorded a sensational air-to-air -air combat record of 104 kills to zero losses. Size-wise, the F-15 measured in at 63 feet and 9 inches in length, with a wingspan of 42 feet and 10 inches. Today, there are multiple models and operators of the F-15. Israel, Japan and Saudi Arabia purchased multiple units of the American fighter, but perhaps the most bizarre operator of the F-15 is NASA who utilised the jet to conduct a wide variety of flight research experiments. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and comment which aircraft you'd like to see in the next one.